welcome to X-Ray Review. Uh, this is going to be a quick video about costochondral calcification. What it is, what it looks like on an X-Ray, and how not to confuse it with pathology. Here's a great example of costochondral calcification in a healthy, younger female in her 30s. And what we can see at the anterior medial ends of the ribs, which are normally cartilaginous, we can see a very apparent, prominent calcific density all along the anterior medial aspects of the ribs, almost more prominent in relation to the adjacent rib itself. This is costochondral calcification. Although it looks very crazy, it is a normal finding, normal physiologic calcification. It does not represent pathology. On this lateral lumbar radiograph of a 30 year old, you can see big, chunky calcific densities in the expectant area of the anterior medial portion of the ribs. And again, this is costochondral calcification and does not represent pathology. In this lateral lumbar view, you can actually see some costochondral calcification overlapping the lumbar vertebral segments. So it can mimic disease, but again, it is not of any clinical importance. Some texts will say that it's more commonly seen in older individuals than younger. In my clinical experience, I see it at all ages, um, but, uh, but that is in the text, so I'm sure they're right. A key feature of costochondral calcification is it has to be in the expectant area of the ribs. If it's not where the rib should be, it's not costochondral calcification. So you'll note that all of these calcifications are in the expectant area of where the anterior medial rib should be. This lateral lumbar image really demonstrates how dense the costochondral calcification can be even in relation to the adjacent bone. You can see how prominent this costochondral calcification is. It really obscures the upper left and right abdomen from good visualization. So if there was concern for something like a kidney stone, a gallstone, splenic calcification, these things can actually be obscured by prominent costochondral calcification and you may need other types of advanced imaging like CT or ultrasonography to see it. Here's a case of very exuberant costochondral calcification, and this can really be problematic when trying to rule out things like fracture. If there was trauma, uh, sometimes CT is the only way to know for sure that there's no fracture uh, because the costochondral calcification can really confuse and uh, impair visualization of the remaining lower rib cage. Here there's only subtle costochondral calcification noted and the pattern and distribution seen makes it very challenging to exclude any other type of underlying soft tissue calcification of the abdomen. So again, another example where CT may be needed if the patient has some type of GI, GU symptoms or concerned about a stone or abdominal calcification. Okay, so let's try a couple questions. Is the visualized soft tissue calcification normal or abnormal? And of course, this is normal costochondral calcification. Is the visualized soft tissue calcification normal or abnormal? And of course, this is normal costochondral calcification and not to be confused with pathology. Thank you for listening. Uh, hopefully you now know what costochondral calcification looks like and not to confuse it with pathology. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know and like and subscribe if you enjoy. Thanks again.